Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Wizards of the Coast, admitting that the recent Iconic Masters was a mistake. And they actually apologized for it at the end of this article. Now I am going to give my general concept of the Masters. I am vehemently opposed against the 999 MSRP. I know that's not the price that a lot of you pay, but at the same time, it is an indication of absolute greed. From the very beginning, Modern Masters was only $6.99. Then the stores were trying to make money, and so they made it $15.99, $14.99. I mean, the MSRP was not really the standard from a modern set, and it has never been. Even when we talk about Iconic Masters at... MSRP $9.99, no one's going to pay $9.99 a pack for Iconic Masters. It's just not that good. Now, why is it so important to push the price point down? Because uh, drafts. These people in Wizard of the Coast, they keep saying that the point of these sets isn't reprinting. It is to have fun, interactive drafts with old cards that you remember. But if a draft MSRP is $30, I don't know that many Magic players who can afford that. Even a $10 draft or a $15 draft, that's kind of reasonable with prize support. But for the same entertainment and slightly better chances of getting more valuable cards, I don't think that these packs should be $10 or three times what a typical pack would go for. And I don't think the value is there on a lot of these master sets. So I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to produce a product that serves, you know, drafting first. And then secondly, it would have reprints. But I feel like the product should only be reprints. And you should reduce the price a ton. The original Modern Masters was very strange. Um, it's one of those things that you couldn't see coming and it actually increased the price of Tamagoyf. Tamagoyf right now is a $70 card. When Modern Masters 1 was released, it actually went up in price from I think 100 to like 150 or something. And in GP Vegas, there was a vendor who was buying everyone out of the every single Tamagoyf you opened, he would buy at TCG Mage, which is fantastic. So the concept of Modern Masters, in my opinion, is very lazy. Um, and that's another reason that it shouldn't be $10. Uh, it is just reprints. And yes, there is new artwork, but it's not new artwork for something like Ixalan, where all the set is new. It is new artwork for a few. And that has a lesser cost than if you had to do there is no cost in design. There's no cost in the new design of a card. There's no new mechanics. You're literally just picking cards to reprint. And yes, I understand that maybe you have to have someone under, uh, who understands draft and play test it, but we're talking about draft. I don't feel like most people uh, open this product for draft. I feel like the majority of this product is unlike any other where people are just opening it and hoping for good cards. So I don't know. The financial implications of a master set is quite great. It means that no card in modern can ever be worth money. Uh, if you look at Tamagoyf, it's the purest example of something. And you might think, oh, what about Lily? Lily is going up in price. True, until they reprint her again. And who knows how soon that will be. And here's, I, I recently looked at the new uh, Challenger decks and they're very good in terms of value. Yes, I understand the value is not going to hold because, you know, a $90 product that can sell for Walmart at $30 will always be a $30 product because you can buy at Walmart. My biggest um, concern about what's happening right now is none of our cards are going to have value. Uh, no modern card, no standard card will ever have value long term because it will always be reprinted. That is good. 
Uh, so you're going to create two different player groups. You're going to create a player group who's just interested in playing, not super interested in expected value. And you're going to create a player group that is more, more, a much more interested in value. And you're going to separate those two. That's the perfect plan. So I commend them on the Master Series. Uh, Eternal Masters was, in my opinion, I mean, it got a lot better now that you have Bloodbraid Elf and uh, Jace, right? Um, it's looking a lot uh, better in terms of value. Bloodbraid Elf is uncommon. A seven, eight dollar uncommon is fantastic, by the way. That's ex I'd much rather have a seven, eight dollar uncommon than the hundred and fifty dollar mythic, uh, in in terms of expected value for a box, because you definitely going to get a bunch of Bloodbraid Elves, but it's no guarantee that you get your Jace or your Force of Will. So the master series is going, it's not going to be focused on formats, but it is going to be focused on themes. Uh, this means that iconic and you turn all of these things are going to have more value. Uh, so the example they use is Innistrad is about graveyard and Gothic horror, horror. Raven the car is about multicolored cards in the guilds and the cards about lands. Um, some of the biggest success in Magic history come from having themes on top of our sets. And we're very excited to for us to bring that in the Master set. So if you imagine a Master set as a more a much more expensive uh, regular set that supplements the modern format, then that's what it is. Um, it might also do Eternal. I don't know. It, it sounds kind of interesting. Uh, but this I, concept that people are drafting $30 drafts, I don't think that's correct. Um, the best way to create the most enjoyable draft format possible in an all reprint set is to increase the size of our toolbox. That's probably true. Uh, that There's one point I want to stress, and this doesn't mean we'll never see a set focus on modern again or anything of that sort. That could even be a occasional theme of its own. So not much has changed. This is like when they write an article and then you get to the end of the article and it sounds like a lot has changed, but then they like, well, you know, a theme could be modern. So modern masters could be reprinted uh, exactly like that. When we, we first saw the first appear, appear in Iconic Masters, that was our first swing in this new model. That was a case where I felt like the draft format was great and most others I spoke with who played it agreed we executed on that axis. However, I know that there are other factors about the set that many of you didn't find quite as great. Many players felt the cards inside weren't as excited, exciting as they originally hoped, which is important to the collectors, the drafters, and those who like both. The name was misleading. Uh, I mean, there's not that many iconic cards in the set, to be honest. I, this is a new, it is going to be very interesting to see what happens. Uh, I, my prediction here today, I apologize. If you weren't happy with Iconic Masters on behalf of the team, I would like to apologize for everything we do in R&D. We're always learning from our experiences to make the next set as great as possible. So they do apologize. Um, Iconic Masters was a terrible set for stores. Um, it was it's selling for 140 during its prime and the msrp is 240 that's about half off that's crazy uh and people try to hype it up i kept telling you do not buy do not buy do not i mean i get it you want to buy it great but if you want the best deal now is the best deal not when someone's trying to sell it to you for the maximal price possible and that happens a lot it happens when you know, in marketing, it happens in, you know, I mean, people want to make money. It's really that simple. The Master Series, I'm going to go ahead and say this is a game changer. Uh, and this article will tell you that they're, no, they're not going to go away anytime soon. They are very profitable. And when you can, okay, let me put it this way. When you can be lazy and you can redo the work, I mean, pretty much there's no new cards in the set. There is barely any new artwork. So the expense of creating a modern master set is very, very uh, low. And yes, there's people who need to figure out drafting. But when you compare it to Ixlon, 
where Ixlon has all new artwork. Uh, this is a set that is very cheap to make, so I think that they should reduce the price. $9.99 a pack for ma Masters is just ridiculous given the work that they put into it. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.